All right, guys, so this is what's going on. Um, I've been having uh, some trouble with my bike. What's been happening over the last uh, two to three rides? Uh, it's been a bit uh, burbly on the first quarter and it's never been like that. Uh, for the past 10 months, it's been working beautifully. Um, and, uh, you know, no matter, last two rides, no matter what I did to the, uh, to the idle air screw adjustment, I just felt like you couldn't get, um, good acceleration. It would burble a lot until you got up to about half power. Uh, something going on with the carb. And this has got a, uh, um, one of these Mikuni, uh, TMXs. It's a Mikuni 38, uh, TMX, TMX 38. <clears throat> so being that bike being a, a 150 I was quite surprised that it was a, a 38 I, I would have thought that there'd be a smaller carburetor in there but it's the same so um, did a little bit of looking around and um, a lot of people have been saying that uh, there are some inherent problems with this carburetor one of them being this uh, this gasket uh, it's a <clears throat> Well, I'll, I'll take it apart and, and show you exactly what I mean, but apparently there's uh, this gasket gets deformed inside the stock um, uh, in the stock carb and causes it to run rich. And um, what I did do is I did take out the, um, the spark plug just to check to see how it was doing. And lo and behold, yeah, it was definitely rich. It was wet, it was black. Um, I also had a lot of spooge all over the, uh, the back of the pipe. Um, did I clean it all up? Yes, I, well, no, you can still see some right there, but it was way worse. Uh, a lot of that dripped down in there. It was way worse, but apparently this little guy right there is a culprit. Um, I'll try to zoom in on that. So, yeah, you could see that right there. Um, Apparently what can happen here is um, this little portion right there can get deformed and allow fuel to, to go through one of the passages and have it run rich. So um, Tokyo Off-Road um, YouTube channel um, has already gone through this and uh, this is on a 2017 um, KTM and uh, he shows a problem right there. So that's what got me thinking that maybe I have the same problem. So I went and bought the, the same kit. Uh, it's a JD jetting kit, um, part number JDMK05. And it's got this little gasket with a couple other uh, O-rings. And um, yeah, see if uh, that's going to make a difference. But uh, So what you basically do is get the uh, float bowl off. There's three screws, right? Um, you take that off. Uh, you drain, you know, your, your fuel out of there. That's pretty straightforward. Um, float bowl right there comes off nicely. The gasket is in, uh, is in really nice shape. So that doesn't get replaced. Uh, one thing that you might want to check, though, is the, uh, the float uh, height to make sure that it's set correctly. I believe at 60 degrees, I checked that, and it seems to be correct. Um, but what you need to do, you actually need to take the float out to get to that gasket. There's, um, there's kind of a horseshoe shaped little thingy inside there that you need to get out. So you see right, right, in, right inside there that, that guy, it's, uh, you, you can't get a top view because it's inside the car, but that's actually got a sort of a dog bone shape to it, you know, sort of a, or a, a, a crescent, uh, yeah, a crescent shape to it. And in order to get to that, you actually got to uh, take the float ball off and uh, access a couple of torque screws. And I'll show you that in just a second here. I'll zoom back out. Flip that over. So, <clears throat> um, you take the, uh, the float needle out. And what I like to do is I like to use um, these, uh, these Japanese, these proper Japanese screwdrivers. They're... Uh, they're Phillips, but they're they're a little bit different than a regular Phillips. These are actually specifically for Japanese uh, um, heads on bikes. Um, this is a Vessel brand. Um, I don't know who told me this a long time ago or whether I saw this on YouTube, but the heads of these Phillips uh, screwdrivers are a little different for um, for Japanese uh, bikes, and this is 
this carburetor is actually made in Japan, it says right there. So I thought, okay, I better use the proper screwdriver so I don't strip anything, and it does fit quite nicely in there. So this releases the float bowl, comes off right there. Very delicate part, so just be really, really gentle. Comes off with the needle. Needle is right there. And uh, the pin. Okay. So the pin that the float rotates on and uh, the, uh, the needle. The needle is, um, the float needle is nice and sharp, uh, so that does not have to be replaced. Um, zoom back out. Crappy uh, video equipment. Hey, I just do this for fun. And it came with this uh, T10 uh, torque spit as well too. So, uh, so that's that, a little T10 uh, torque spit. And uh, that will allow you to get access to, and they are on with, uh, with some kind of Loctite. Uh, so you gotta put a lot of pressure on to, um, to crack those open, or quite a bit of pressure, moderate amount of pressure. I've already cracked these open just for a test run before. Um, but I'll be, uh, I won't be putting red Loctite on these. Um, I'll be putting on a blue, um, which is semi-permanent. There we go. And uh, where did that little, oh, there we go. Okay. So that's uh, that little wave that's in there. Apparently that's what gets deformed. Um, there you can see it a bit better. That, that's what gets deformed and allows fuel to go from, from here through to there, and, it, and apparently it's not supposed to be. Uh, and I can see that that's just kind of popping out. Uh, so that's the stock one right there um, with the wave um, between these two channels. And this right here is the JD replacement, and it's uh, quite, uh, well, it's straight for one, and it uh, seems to be a better quality gasket. So, just enough, just enough to keep that stuck. I'm going to keep it away from the little holes. There we go. That way it won't go flying around when I put it inside the carb, because it's it's very difficult to actually see inside there. Good. There we go. There we go. That's better. Uh, so you're not supposed to see the gasket when you drop that down in there. So there it is. There it is right in there. I'll flip this over. And uh, yeah, now I've got access to the uh, uh, both, both screws. Uh, screw sockets. It's really nice to have a nice running carburetor and this Makuni has been fantastic up to about the last two or three rides. Um, really nothing to complain about. So the other uh, the other gasket that uh, gets changed out is right right inside this assembly right here. I'll zoom in on that if I can. Right, there it is. That, that guy right there. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take off this screw, that Phillips screw, and pull that out, and there's another O-ring. Just gently grab onto it and pull it back, and you can see there's an O-ring there. It, it was nice and snug, probably don't need to replace it, but since uh, there are a couple of O-rings in here, um, I'm going to assume that uh, that's what that's for. But once you manipulate one of these guys, uh, it pretty much wrecks the uh, the O-ring uh, because you're putting little tears and uh, pokes in it. So once you pull it off, you're, you don't want to reuse that again. And I do not use a tool to put it on. I just use my fingers and boop, like that. There she goes. There doesn't seem to be, uh, you know, an alignment uh, here. Yeah, that's nice and snug. You can feel that. See, that won't fall out. Little screw. I'm going to put a tiny bit of um, blue Loctite on it just to keep it in there. There we go. That goes in. So now the carburetor just goes back together as, um, as I took it apart. 
and um, I think pretty much uh, most guys know how to do that. Um, All right, this is the Vetter Fun Run, and it's going to be slippery today. like soap. Alright, so um, I think I'm in a group of about 10 riders or so, B group. Got Jennifer in front of me and Sheldon behind me and a sweeper behind them. And uh, as you can see, rear wheels are just all over the place today. Very nice conditions. It feels like it's around 15 degrees or so, so it feels nice. Uh, so I got worked on my carb last night till, well, not last night, was it? No, it was the night before. Got the uh, TMX gasket fix, and I can already tell the bike runs way better. Very happy about that. I believe it's a ten dollar part. I got a little video on uh, just replacing that, but you got to go deep into the car to get to that guy. There's an O-ring and uh, another uh, weird kind of gasket. Man, definitely has restored, restored the bike to where it should be. These last couple of rides sucked ass. Getting my low end back, which is nice, especially today. Like, holy cow, there's going to be some falls today, I guarantee you that. I think I fell asleep at the wheel. 